In debt, I also won a fiver. Think that I should try my hand at brag. James Dean was just a careless driver. And Marilyn Monroe was just a slag. Now that's not very nice. But does humour belong in music? I laughed when I first heard that. But I wasn't connected in any way to Marilyn Monroe or James Dean. Uh, of course, I knew them. They're iconic um, celebrities. Film stars. But um, I'm, I wouldn't really say that I was emotionally invested in either of them. So I thought it was pretty, pretty, pretty entertaining. <clears throat> So, does humour belong in music? Of course. Uh, so, is it humour if it makes you laugh? Yeah, well, I think that was the intention. I don't think it was malicious. On, on the behalf of the person who wrote it, Uh, and it made me laugh, so yeah. But how about um, Hole in the Ground by, uh, well, I don't know whether he wrote it, but Bernard Cribbins. Probably, no, probably didn't. I don't know. But it's, it's an amusing song. I don't know whether it's funny, uh, like as in Ha Ha. Uh, it's certainly a like social comment, a bit, bit of, bit of social comment there, bit of philosophical. Uh, it's got, um, it's got your attention. Uh, the lyrics are very clear in what it means. It's unambiguous in in that way. It's very direct, but then again, again, it's got more layers of meaning of course <clears throat> so um it's a it's a fave of mine i do like it and it and it, it kind of um um highlights the blue collars um plight if you like and you know, um, the implication is at the end that the guy is dead. Uh, how's it go? Well, <clears throat> the ground digs. It ain't there now. The ground is all flat, and beneath it is the blow with the bowler. That's that. Well, I think that that kind of implies that he's dead. He's buried him. He's under the ground and he's dead. Um, which I don't agree with that. I don't think capital punishment uh, is is um, is a good thing. And certainly with trial without jury, like that chap had with the bowler hat. Um, so, <laughs> but it, again, uh, It is not real. It's not real. When um, Wiley Coyote does uh, fall thousands of feet uh, into the bottom of the canyon, and then the rock lands on top of him, the you know the bit of cliff that he fell off. How he made it down there quicker, I don't know. But that's what happens. And that's um, that's kind of what's going on.
it's um, you know it's like a big um, oh it's like a big film it is like a big film it's um it's brought to you by Walt Disney everything is uh, It is, uh, it's not real. You know, there lots of things in your life are real. Like um, your car, your face. Everything is real. But it don't seem real. It don't seem real. None of the space stuff seems real. That's because it's, because it isn't. It may as well be an episode of Doctor Who. Because that's all it is. It's a stage set. Now, of course, they spend a great deal more money doing it than a BBC production of Doctor Who ever dreamed of. They have huge tanks of water to film the space station with a massive green screen, blue screen above. And that's um, how they can show the Earth now the Earth, if it was a, if it, if it, if the Earth were a, a sphere of twenty-five thousand miles circumference, and the <coughs> big station two hundred and fifty miles above the Earth, it wouldn't, it would never see the amount of curve it shows. That is ridiculous. 250 miles above the Earth, a long way though it is, is not um, very far <laughs> in relation to 25,000 miles. And a circumference of, and that means it's eight thousand miles across it in diameter so um, you can work it out by the angles of uh, vision from 250 miles and you know that the amount of curvature you would see if it were a sphere which of course it isn't uh, would be um, not as much as the showing on the um, stupid green screen. And there are many um, other ways you could tell there is water, like the floppy door. You've seen the floppy door. The um, bubbles always go in the same direction, up over. And the um, divers that are always there, sort of making sure the supposed astronauts don't get tangled up with their tubes and and, um, and don't float off. Um, always kind of looking after them, sort of like nursing them, really. And but their CGI. Um, erased somehow. They're they're um, very clever. How they, well it's not that clever, but it's a bit obvious really. It, whatever there that should be there, they just put that image over the top of the diver. If the diver diver were not there, you could see right through him, as if you were looking right through him. You know what I mean? And they do that. Um, you see, they've got 
time to do it because they say it's live. Of course it's not live. How be... There's there's been so many mistakes with the um done with the big station. Like the the fact that uh, when people are talking to it, the, there is a delay, and then there isn't a delay, then there is a delay. Come on, make your mind up. And I'm not talking about, um, oh, it w wouldn't it be round? It would, you know, it would be good there, and it would be a delay when it was round there, and it wouldn't. Be... No, because uh, th that's been explained to me, but that wouldn't happen because the points of. Um, Anyway, it just wouldn't happen because there are three points on the Earth apparently where they, it's, it's all it's, it's transmission and receiving. It's you know I'm I'm just sick. I just lose interest with it because it's all learning something that doesn't exist. It's learning the the excuse. It's like it's the information for me is not worth it. I don't want to pollute my head with bullshit. Um, the these fiber optic cables that connect the continents uh, are the reason that we can communicate almost immediately through great distance and there's no satellites um, other than what we call a satellite you know as in something that uh, goes around our heads like the moon and the Sun and the moon are you know they're, they're a great place to think start to think about this the Sun and the moon now we're supposedly going round the sun, and it takes us a year to get all the way around. The month, uh, sorry, the moon. Well, yeah, there you go. The moon, the month, the moon goes round us, and it takes it uh, twenty nine days or no, twenty eight point something days. I think. Is it anyway, whatever it's uh, twenty eight days. Whatever it is. Um, it does a completely different motion to the sun. Just think about that. We're going around that we're 93 million miles away from the sun. Oh, bullshit. Uh, and the moon is 238,000 miles away and it's going around us. And it takes it a month to do it. But virtually. Yet, when you look at them, in the sky going overhead they're an identical size and they follow the same path now i'm glad i'm not um deluded anymore into thinking that that uh one's 400 times further away than and the other one's 400 times smaller yet closer what a pile of uh, pony poo. Just, it's it's so obvious. It really is. It's it's mind numbingly obvious. Uh, you, you well, yes, I've obviously had my mind numbed, haven't I? Uh, no. Is it a strange cult I've joined? No, cults have leaders. And I think the globe is more of a cult, really, when you think about it. It's always had a leader or leaders. Um, and it um, refuses to um, let crazy talk, you know, um, throw it off its... Um, evil path. Not evil, you know, that was a bit of a uh, misunderstanding, but like I said, um, do good, not evil. Uh, yeah.
through them.